Hello, my name is Kevin Pires. I am a senior applications engineer with Expo. And today we're going to go over setting up the OX1 for Wi-Fi and searching for and updating the software. So we're going to need several things here. First of all, you're going to need to install the TestFlow mobile app on your smart device. So your iPhone or, or whatever uh, sort of smart device you have, search the application store or your local company store. Uh, for the TestFlow app. So just search the one word TestFlow and that should come up for you. You also need an OX1. So I have an OX1 available and powered on. So I'm gonna have a powered on OX1 and TestFlow mobile installed. So right here on my screen right now, I have my smartphone. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the TestFlow app there in the top left. And if you have a TestFlow account, you can go ahead and log in. Otherwise, just hit not now down at the very bottom. And that'll bring you here to the jobs menu. So up in the top left, you see the three little lines, a stack of pancakes there, we'll select that. And then you'll see the optical explorer, which is the OX1. I will select that. And then it will use Bluetooth. So make sure you have Bluetooth enabled. It will scan for any nearby Bluetooth devices and locate the OX1. If there's multiple OX1s, make sure you select your SIL number. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my OX1 to connect to it. And then once it's connected up in the top right, I'm gonna select the three dotted, the three dots up there. And then I'm gonna to go to OX1 settings down at the bottom. And then from here, you'll see my OX1 device settings. I'm gonna go ahead and enable Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna enable Wi-Fi and then it'll search for the nearest Wi-Fi networks here. And so we're gonna look for RSSID. So here at my home office, I'll probably have multiple units here. So I'm gonna select Yuckway Net there because that is my, my home office Wi-Fi. I'll go ahead and put in my password to get into it. We shall connect. And that's it. We are now connected with our OX1 to our local Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. And that's it. That's how to connect the OX1 to Wi-Fi. So now that we have the Wi-Fi connected, we can go ahead and go back to our OX1. So from the OX1, we'll go ahead and hit the, uh, the top left menu button up there. So up at the very top left, we hit the menu button. And this will take us into the, um, the menu structure system. And so we will scroll down to settings. And then from settings, we can verify that we do have our Wi-Fi connected. And so from here, all I need to do is scroll down all the way to where it says software update. So now we see where the software update is. I'll go ahead and select that. And then you'll get this little search uh, uh, wheel that goes on. And if there's an update available, you'll get an exclamation point. If the update is good, then you will get a green um, uh, indicating icon. And so in this case here, I can upgrade my OX1 from version 1.6 to 1.7. So I can go and install that update and then it's gonna go ahead and, and download and install it. And then once that's done, the unit will reboot and then come back to life and then we can uh, confirm that the software is updated. And once the unit uh, reboots and turns back on, we can go uh, verify our settings. Within the OX1 app, go over to uh, settings. And then from settings, we can scroll down again, back over to software updates. And you'll see we will get the, uh, the green indicator showing that we are on the latest load. We were on 1.6 before, now we are on 1.7. And uh, we are now fully updated and up to date. And that's it. My name is Kevin Pires. Thank you very much.